Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to run Schematron from a Python script. Okay, so there's three things you're going to need to do this. First of all, here's the XML. So this is cars.xml file. So this is the XML we're going to try and validate. So this one, it's got three cars records. So you've got Porsche, Toyota and another Porsche there with various properties in different tags on there. The second thing you need is a Schematron rules file. So this one's called runtest.sch and this one's just got one Schematron rule in there. And then the third and final thing is a Python script. So this Python script is going to use those two other files to run the checks, the Schematron checks. Okay, so let's have a look at the Python script that's going to do all the work here. So um, just so I've, I've set this up as a function in Python, just because then it makes it easier to make it into a module, but you don't have to do it that way. So the first thing is that what you'll need to do is you'll need to get hold of this LXML library for, for the Python. It, it might not come in your um, standard installation of Python, so you will have to go and go and get that. But obviously, it's free, so you can get that. So the first thing that happens with this script is we open the two files that we looked at earlier. So this is the file with the Schematron validation rule in it. And this is the file with the cars um, XML data in it. So once we've opened those two files, then we parse the rules file, which is what's happening here. And we give Schematron some parameters that we want to do this run with. And then we parse the XML file. Then we run the actual validation here, and the validation result gets returned as a boolean into this variable. And then all I'm doing here is just checking whether that boolean is true or false. And if it's true, that means that the validation has passed. There were no validation errors found in the XML. Uh, and if it's false, obviously, the validation has failed. So that's basically it. You can see here that I'm running, giving it the two files that, that we looked at earlier, the one with the rules in and the actual XML itself. So let's have a go at running that and see what happens. OK, so in this directory, I've got the three files that we've already looked at. So let's try and run the schematron.py, the Python file, and see what happens. OK, so it says it's passed. So that's good. So that means that the XML that we've got in cars.xml is valid as far as the schematron test is concerned. So just to prove to you that the script is working correctly, I'm going to try and make the make it fail validation. So let's just have another quick look at what's in the actual validation rule. So what this is saying is that we're starting from the context is where we start from within the XML that we're going to validate. So we're starting from the paint tag. Or underneath that paint tag, we're doing a, a test here to say that the, check that there's a color tag. So in effect, this rule is saying that every paint tag must have a color sub tag inside of it. So if we have a look at our XML file, you can see that at the moment we've got there's the paint tag, and we can see that in all three cases there's a color tag inside there. So that does make sense that it was passing every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that line there. So now we've got a file where which we expect to fail validation. So let's let's just try running that. So here we go then. And it failed. So that's good. So it is failing. It's, it does seem to be working correctly. Okay, so you may be thinking, well, that's fine, but just seeing passed and failed doesn't really tell me very much about what's actually happened. I want more information. So you can do that. So well, the way you do that is if I put another line in here, like that. So this is. From Schematron, there's a property of Schematron called validation report. So I'm just going to store it in a variable for now just to make it less typing for me. And then what I'll do is down here, when it fails, I'll print out what's inside there. Like that. So, what I, so let's run that again now and see what comes out. OK, here we go then. Right, so we've got a lot more coming out now. 
So there's our message that we originally printed out failed. And this is this section here is what's coming out of that the actual schematron report itself. So a lot of this stuff at the top is um, you can ignore really because that's not very interesting. This is this is the bit here that tells you about the rule. And you can see inside there, you can see there's our, our rule being, and it says that it failed. So that that's the rule that fired, and it failed there, and there's the text in the rule. So you can see it prints out the actual rule that failed. Okay, so we've got some output, but it's not very readable. So what we can do is write that out to a file. So I'll just add a couple of lines into the Python script like that. So what I'm doing is creating an output file. It has to be WB here, and then just writing that report out as the output file. So now if we go and run that again, so you won't see anything different here, but we've now created a file, an output file. Let's go and have a look at that output file. So there it is, report.html. So I'm just going to open it with uh, Chrome. And there we can see our message. So this is the text that was in the uh, validation rule. So if we go back and look at the validation rule, there's that text there. So that's the error report that we created from the validation rule. So that's it. I hope that's, that video has been useful. I mean, obviously, we're doing a very simple check here, which you could probably do with a normal XMR schema check. But um, as, you, as you probably know, Schematron is, is fairly powerful, so you could do some much more complicated tests in here. Maybe I'll, I'll do another video that shows how to do that. But for now, hopefully that's useful. If you have any uh, queries, if anything wasn't clear, or any questions, then please go ahead and leave them in the comment section underneath this video. Thanks a lot.